influence the progressive side of metal. Definitely King Crimson. I'd say I'm more on like the technical side. I mean, Necrophages is huge and probably always will be huge for everybody who's into this kind of music. They're kind of like the the mainstay that everybody can get on board with thinking that, you know, like Epitaph is game changing. Without a doubt, Cynic's Focus album. Uh, Cynic was a really, really large one to begin with when I was growing up, 15, 16, high school. Uh, when I first joined with Fallujah, they were pretty dominant in our in our car stereo systems and like when we were doing our do, do it ourself tours and then we like rented out our first uh, like just minor studio to get practicing done for one of our very first albums. And uh, I'm gonna have to say Mushuga Catch 33 for us. Mushuga has had like I think a major major sweet spot like as far as development for many of these bands that we're listening to today. Um, comes to like the junk genre and like progressive technical metal of any kind. I guess maybe the, the OGs of doing weird rock and stuff with metal, like Sugar, especially with the album Nothing. That's <laughs> it's, 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 it's a it's a mainstay. Personally, in my in my opinion, I would like to think towards maybe um, something a little bit more next generation. In, in my regards, probably probably Xivius, cleaner, like not necessarily just dominant on heavier intake in regards to the music, more so calming, like relaxing, like a lot more atmospheric elements, a lot more melodies. Um, they probably have a lot of influence from jazz and other specific uh, genres that kind of can coincide and blend pretty well with progressive metal. As far as like a contemporary influence on Fallujah, I think Xivius's liminal album really changed, changed the game for us as far as like melodies go and song structure, that, that was an incredible album. I'd say for bands that are influential to Fallujah, you know, I think a lot of the progressive elements don't really come from a prog metal background. I'd say, you know, it's very safe to say that Radiohead is a huge influence for Fallujah. Um, very safe to say, uh, Sting, The Police, um, a lot of 80s stuff, definitely a lot of 80s stuff, even like The Smiths. You know, I think the, the prog vibe that you get from Fallujah is maybe more so rooted in like bringing these kind of external third-party elements and like applying them to a metal framework. Um, yeah, to say necessarily that prog metal bands are the direct influence, I think would be incorrect. It's more so that a lot of the other bands um, you take influence from outside. So yeah, of course, of course, there's the fusion, more shredder stuff like Greg Howe and Alan Goldsworth. Um, I think that influences Scott and solos in particular. Um, and then I really, really love listening to like some of the newer bands. Like I love the Contortionists. Like they're one of the, like the better bands I think we've toured with in a long time. Um, who else has been great? Yeah, the Black Hunter Initiate guys too. Like I'd say that music can definitely be influential. Um, but in terms of like stuff that you'll directly hear on the music, I do think it's it's pretty pretty on point to say that the, the progressive or weirder or more risky elements come from external genres as opposed to the to directly from other progressive metal bands. Pre-order our new record Dreamless at nuclearblast.com.